What's in my camera bag as of 2023? This is one of my favorite videos to make, but this one is special. So before we dive into the actual camera bag, the camera bag that I'm using is the Peter McKinnon and Nomadic 25 liter bag. It's the smaller one. I think this is called the everyday bag. And I made a reel about all the things you could fit in this way back last year. And there was a lot of you asking which kind of camera bag it was. But this is the one and I love it. I think it's a great camera bag. So if you're looking into getting one that is not too big, but still fits a lot of stuff, this is the one. And instead of actually starting with everything on the outside, there is this one thing that I wanna show you inside the camera bag. But first, we have to go back to last year. Back in August of 2022, I was on a trip to Canada, meeting up with some friends of mine. It was a great time. But as I get back to my studio, there was this one thing that really bugged me. See, during the trip, my batteries was always cluttered in my camera bag. And I wanted to figure out a way how to get rid of that. I wanted to have something sturdy, like a hard case for my batteries. Said and done, I ordered a 3D printer. Now, I didn't know what to expect. And I also didn't know how to design anything in 3D, nor did I have any sort of experience in a CAD software. But you know what they say, trying is the first step towards success. So I tried. It turns out that there's more than meets the eye. And just pressing print isn't enough. Infill, print speed, nozzle heat, filament, they are all working in symbiosis when printing. I started by measuring the batteries, the lengths, the thickness, and everything else I needed to know of how to create a 3D version of it. Tinkercad. It's a free software online that seemed easy enough to get started with. Or uh, so I thought. It took me several days trying to figure things out and understand how the program worked before I could print something that even resembled my idea. But eventually, it was ready to go. The print turned out to be, let's say, okay for now. Getting the batteries into the print wasn't hard at all. It had a perfect fit, but getting them out, yeah. I hadn't really considered that part yet. I got back to the drawing board and spent months trying to make it better. And by refining each new prototype, I finally managed to create something that I felt satisfied with. A battery holster capable of holding three batteries and three CF Express cards. And I couldn't shake the thought of what if. What if this was a charger? I decided to send an email to a brand called Jupio. I incorporated some pictures of the product and opened up the email with, hey, I've got a cool idea. I've been waiting over a year for this day to come. That's nice. Dry charge, the PL logo in the back, a little bit of text. <laughs> the amount of work that I have put into this. Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling touched by the moment. Everything that you can see on the box and all the texts and all the things is my doing. To see this come to life is wicked. Hola. Wow. One, one, one and a half year of work. Incredible. That, it that, looks very nice. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Three shots. <laughs> uh, 
I almost don't want to do it. Whew. Here it is. <gasps> no way, this is the first actual production unit that I'm holding. Want to know the status of your batteries? Just press the button. Boom! Ah, huh? I have been working on this unit, trying to perfect it over the course of 12 months. Ever since me and Jupio went into the partnership, it has been an ongoing process trying to refine this product as much as I possibly could. And I've been a part of everything, choosing the product's material and implementing the SD card holder here in the back and where the logos are going to be placed, what kind of chargers that we're going to use. This is a product that I have been lacking during the years that I've been working as a content creator, because not only is it a battery holster that contains your batteries and keeps them in place when you put it down into your camera bag, but you can also check the battery status incredibly fast just by pressing the button. It charges with USB-C, and when you have three batteries in the charger, you can actually use those three batteries as a power bank to power your other devices. I wish that we could have turned this into an SD card reader, but there's something that's called heat dissipation and it would actually melt the entire unit if you were to try to read all these eight memory cards at once. But you got three slots to store your CF Express Type A cards or Type B if shooting Canon and Nikon, because this is also coming in Canon and Nikon versions. And then you have three regular SD card slots that you can store, but also the micro SD, because when I was using the prototype during this spring, I was out flying with my FPV. And when you're flying in FPV, you usually have an action camera on top. And I realized that being able to have two slots always filled up in this unit would be sick because not once since then have I went out without a micro SD card. This unit is like if you were to take an SD card case and a battery case and then your clunky old charger and sort of like just combine it into one single unit. You never have to wonder where your batteries are because they are always in your battery charger. I've been using every single prototype that we have done ever since May this year and not once have I used a different charger for my camera batteries. This unit is in my camera bag every single day, no matter where I go, and I never have to worry about bringing a charger ever again, because it's always there. This product is not something that I've been just slapping my brand on, because this product is something that I have actually been a huge part of designing together with Jupio. There's gonna be a link in the description to both the Sony, Canon, and Nikon versions if you wanna purchase this, and if you do, Thank you so incredibly much because every single purchase that you make off this unit is going to be a support for me to actually bring more products to the market. The TriCharge, incredibly proud of this one. The tripod that I'm using is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. It is one of the absolute best tripods that I've used. And I think I purchased it around one and a half, two years ago. And I'm still just as satisfied today as I was when I purchased it. It is on the expensive side, but if you're looking for one of the best tripods out there, this is the one. I often do try to bring a bottle of water with me whenever I'm out shooting, and I found this Vargo Para bottle to fit perfectly into the side compartment of the camera bag, and it never really falls out because it's stuck kind of tight in there, and I love that. And it's also sleek looking, kind of military grade, stuff and uh, can highly recommend this if you're looking into getting a cool bottle. When it comes to the lenses that I bring with me, one of them is the 70 to 200 f 2.8 Mark II. This is one of my absolute favorite lenses and I have an entire video talking about this that I'm gonna drop in the description. It is really good to be able to have this range in your camera bag. I would say that it's a little bit on the heavy side, but when you're doing a lot of running on stuff and you don't want to bring too many things into your camera bag, having this definitely opens up a lot of different opportunities for the things that you can create. The main camera and lens is the ZV-E1. Love this camera and I've been using it now ever since the release and I think it's a really, really good camera. Haven't had any sort of issues with overheating. I have been using this on professional shoots as well and it has performed 
flawlessly. The lens that we're using is the 1635 f2.8 mark 1 and this is sort of like my main vlogging lens i like to have this whenever i'm recording everyday videos and the videos that i'm shooting on the go for example if i'm out testing out a product then i usually have this as my go-to lens and i've actually skipped out on having a tripod in the bottom here because i found it to be very good to just hold in the lens like this when I'm talking. The microphone that I'm using is the Sony Easy M M1. This is a very nice microphone because it's small footprint and it doesn't take up that much space at all. And what I like about this is that when I put it down into my camera bag, I don't actually have to remove the microphone from the camera. So I can just put it down, take it up without the need of actually pushing it into the hot shoe every time that I wanna record a video. That is huge. The ND filter that I'm using is the Polar Pro and Peter McKinnon Helix. I love the magnetic touch to this. It is really nice. You just clack it on there, twist it, and then it's locked. And whenever you don't need it, you just twist it off and then you can shoot without an ND filter. It's definitely a big time saver. And I do think that it's a really good system to use. If you have the money, highly recommend you to invest into it but I wouldn't say that it's a necessity because you can also just crank the shutter. The tech pouch that I'm using is from an Australian brand that is called Alpaca. And what I like about this tech pouch is that it fits perfectly into the side compartment and it can fit down two SSD drives, my SD card reader, a bunch of my Thunderbolt cords, and also some SD cards if I need to bring a lot of them. I really like the look of it and it feels like it's made of this durable garment that is not gonna break on you in the first case. It is, however, a little bit expensive, but I do think it's worth the money. I've been using this for a little bit over a year, hasn't broke, and it still feels like it's almost new. Charging your devices is incredibly important. And this brick from Sateki is one that I have been using for well over three years at this point. Not this particular model, because I just upgraded to USB-C only. But what I like about this is that it gives you a power output of 160 watts in total. So it's enough power to both power your computer, charge your batteries with the tri-charge and your smartphone at the same time without having to worry about not having enough power delivery. Oh, I also had one more thing in the top compartment, the DJI Action 4. I don't use this that much, but whenever I do need to use it, it's very nice to have. Let's open up the back compartment and let me show you what is inside. We got the Sony Alpha 1, my favorite photo camera as of right now, and I also use this as a backup camera for my FX6 or my ZV-E1. I do think it's a great camera. However, you already know what I think about the firmware updates and that kind of stuff, but hopefully that's coming. And as for photography, freaking amazing camera. And then we have the DJI Mini 4 Pro together with the remote and the battery charger. I love that this is so small that it's actually possible to fit this in to the camera bag, even though you have three different units. Being able to just send up your drone, grab a couple of quick drone shots whenever you need to, golden. And not having it take up too much space, mwah. I also have a couple of spare SSDs because you never know when things are gonna go down and you need to have more storage space than what you thought initially when you were heading out. So these two are actually empty and it's four terabyte in total, which means that I carry with me at all times eight terabytes of storage. I have one cube here in the bottom of the bag and then one cube here in the top, which allows us to actually put down the 7200 and the camera so like straight down into the bag without having to put it down to the ground. So I can just open up the top compartment, rip my camera out, start shooting, and that's that. One of the things that I like the most when it comes to cameras and gear is to optimize my camera bag. But now I actually feel like I've reached a point where it is perfectly optimized for what I do. And that couldn't be possible without the tri-charge. Link to everything is going to be in the description. Really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up because that would be highly appreciated. And uh, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you in the next video. And don't forget to use, snag your own copy of the TriCharge. Link in the description. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Take care.